Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1401. Hey, if you want to download this Excel file so you can follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we've got a great question here. We want to see how to conditionally format the row when the date is bold. That means we need to look through this column here and actually detect when there is a type of formatting. Now, there's no built-in spreadsheet function to do this. But if we go all the way back to Excel 4, there are macro functions. And one of the functions we can use is called get.cell. Now, I have a bunch of notes over here. The get.cell function can get all sorts of information. And if we scroll down to number 20, if we say, hey, get.cell 20, it will return a true when it sees bold. Now, because it is a macro function, if I try to type equals get dot cell in a spreadsheet cell, it will not work. It's actually a macro function. And if you come down to the sheet and right click and point to insert, you might have noticed over the years that, yes, most people just say sheet and click OK, and it inserts a new sheet. But there's all sorts of cool things. You can insert a chart, and there it is. Look at that, MS Excel 4.0 macro. Now, there is a keyboard for this. And if you know the keyboard to insert a regular sheet, it is Shift F11. Now, notice it says Sheet 1. Now, why did we show that when we actually wanted a macro sheet? Because I always, by accident, hit the wrong key. And if you use Control F11, then that shows up. Now, this is a macro sheet, and it works differently than a regular sheet. So if you ever accidentally do this and like double click and name it and work with it, it won't do all the same things. But watch this. We can highlight this column right here, Control-C, go over to the macro sheet, Control-V. Now, you already notice something strange, right? The actual underlying serial numbers appear, not the actual formatted dates. But let's assume for a second that didn't raise our suspicion. Now, this is a macro sheet, so we are allowed to come over and type equals get dot cell, open parentheses, and then we type a 20 to tell get dot cell to return a true when it sees bold, comma, and then we click on the relative cell reference. Now we can close parentheses and watch what happens when I control Enter. Look at that. We are stuck in formula auditing view. Now if you go over to formulas, you could see the show formulas button is selected. Anytime you insert a macro sheet, that's the default. So you can either click this or use Control Grave Accent. Now I can double click and send this down. And wait a second, it's not giving me true right there. But if I hit F2 and hit Enter, I can see, sure enough, wherever there is bold, it delivers a true. Now we did this macro sheet just to see the macro sheet and see that this function works on a macro sheet. Now we can get this formula to work in a spreadsheet, but we have to use a defined name to access this. So I'm going to leave that sheet there, go back up over to 1401. Now we're going to eventually build our formula here and copy it over and down for conditional formatting. But before we do that, we have to go up to Formulas. Name Manager, or we can use the keyboard Control F3. I'm going to select New. The name of this, we'll call it Is Bold. And as a defined name, usually we highlight a range, but it's just a formula down here into the refers to. So I can type equals get dot cell. And you can type any type of formula here any macro for function, any spreadsheet function. 20, comma. And now I'm going to click on cell A10. And I need this to be locked as I copy across the columns. So I'm going to use the keyboard F4 to lock the column reference, but not the row. Now close parentheses. We can use is bold in the spreadsheet, and it will run get.cell20. Click OK. Click close. Equals is bold, down arrow tab. Look at that, Control Enter. 
copy it over, and copy it down. Now we can look at our patterns of trues and falses. And sure enough, true, 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 meaning it found a bold date. True, true, true. All right, I'm going to come to the top upper left cell, F2, and then highlight this in Edit Mode, Control-C, Escape, although that one's pretty sure. We could probably type that one out quickly in the conditional formatting dialog box. Nevertheless, I'm going to highlight and make sure the active cell is the upper left because I copied the formula from the upper left. Home, conditional formatting, new rule, or I can use the keyboard Alt-H-L-N. Now I'm going to click Use Formula to determine which cells to format or use Page Down to jump to just that selection. Now I'm going to click down and Format Values where this formula is true, or simply hit Tab. And now I paste it using Control-V. Now we can format it however we'd like. I think I'm going to do font bold and then fill yellow. So that way the row will have yellow and everything will get bold. Click OK. Click OK. And there we go. If I come down here and bold a new date, we actually are going to have a little bit of a problem. Control B. What happened there? Macro functions, we actually have to force recalculation by using the keyboard Control-Alt and F9. And there we go. Now, the truth is, this is a very obscure solution. But nevertheless, we used a defined name. And back over here, we saw the get.cell20 function. Now, if you download this Excel workbook and search through this list of what get.cell can do, it's simply amazing. It can do things that no other spreadsheet function can do. What if you needed to figure out whether there was a manual page break? Well, you could do it with get.cell27. What if you needed to figure out certain border types? Well, get.cell9, all sorts of amazing things you can do with get.cell. All right, we'll see you next video.